Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha. If you're new here, today I'm going to be talking to you about how I started my fitness journey. I have been um, consistently working out for the last seven or eight months. This is the longest stretch that I've ever been working out or eating healthy and this is the best that I've ever felt. I fit into my clothes better. I mean look at my arms like I have like muscles like I've been kind of overweight the chunkier thicker frame for most of my life. Um, I've never really been skinny. I think the last time I was skinny I was like three years old. I've always been um a little chunkier than everyone else and I've been trying to work out and lose weight and at times have been successful um for my entire as long as I can remember um I've always wanted to be smaller and so for me to get to this point in my life where I am working out consistently and trying to eat healthier without uh getting disappointed at a number on the scale or stopping and starting and stopping and starting is monumental for me and if you fall into that category of the yo-yo dieting or you've always felt like i can be better if i'm in this body then i hope this video really helps you i hope this video just helps anyone who is trying to achieve their goal but also be healthy and happy in the process Basically how I started my journey was I have two children. After I had my second son, um, my knee started to hurt. I never had any physical issues. I've never really been unhealthy, quote unquote. I've just always been a little bit thicker. Throughout my life, I've always been like around a size 12. And it was very discouraging um, because I felt like I really needed to lose some weight and get active in order to be healthy and happy in my body and not have body pain. I really feel like God used the knee pain as a wake up call for me to get in, sh get in shape in this area of my life that was just undisciplined. And so my thought process shifted from aesthetic goals to you know a lifestyle change and I know people say that and I know that's super cheesy but it's the truth you can't just say I want to be skinny I hate this part of my body and that be the thing that fuels you to have a weight loss journey because that's not going to last long term I've done it will work for a little bit and then I will go back to being the same size or I would be happy with how I looked and then I would stop because ultimately you are more than just whatever size you are. Once I realized that, I kind of went into prayer and asked God, like, how, why am I overweight? And even as a teenager, I'm eating, you know, I love food. A lot of my friends love food and they're small. They're 120 pounds and they're not having the same issues that I'm having. Like, why am I the one that's overweight? And so um, God kind of came back and he was like, you don't you don't have self-discipline in this area and so you need to get some discipline in that area and hearing God say that I'm like okay <laughs> so once I got that revelation of this being a discipline issue I began to really shift my mindset when it comes came to weight loss and working out I wasn't trying to work out for an aesthetic I didn't just want a flat stomach anymore or to be a a particular size I started working out as a form of discipline and I really decided that I was going to love the body that I was in even though I didn't like things about myself and so it really became about forming healthy habits and being disciplined on a daily basis versus saying I want to be a size six okay so next I'm going to go into some tips on how I made this happen and so the first the very first thing I recommend you do is follow some channels that are going to change the way you are thinking if you're thinking I hate my mom body I hate my tummy I can't do this or whatever type of internalized worldview of your body or even just 
you not liking the way that you feel about yourself, you're going to need some recondi reconditioning for your mind. You cannot have a healthy body journey and you hate your body. It's just not going to work. Two channels that really helped me was um, Abby Sharp's channel and Sierra Schitzel. Schitzel? I'm, I don't want to butcher her name, so I'll have it on the screen in the description box below. But Sierra's channel was great because she's really good on calling out some of the thought processes you think are normal. And so one of her videos that really helped me was talking, she tackled all the things that she didn't want to wear because they weren't flattering. And she really tackled the idea of flattering. And while I do think you should dress in a way that you accentuate the things that you like and maybe cover the things that aren't the parts that you love the most and that's perfectly fine sometimes i was hiding but i'll speak for myself sometimes i was hiding behind flattering and it was really just something that i hated and about myself and i was trying to cover and hide and so for example when i had my son all summer after that uh really it was a warm like fall and everything too i just wore oversized t-shirt and biker shorts and i just wore that and wore that and wore that same like outfit and style because i really just hated the way that my stomach looked and the way that my arms looked i just did not like the way my body looked and so for for a long time because it went from oversized t-shirts and biker shorts to oversized sweaters and leggings in the um in the winter time and while i do recommend that style dress for postpartum when you're you know healing and everything um it was like i was hiding behind it longer than just postpartum and so i love that video because she really tackled that issue and so i 100 percent recommend her channel because she's awesome at challenging some of the thoughts and mindsets that we have as someone who does not love their body okay and abby sharp abby is amazing she's a registered i want to say dietitian she knows so much about um fueling your body and she changed the way that i looked at food she debunks and gives a lot of scientific facts behind it and so um, I loved her channel because it taught me to rethink the way I thought about food. So I had the channel that helped me to rethink the way I thought about my body. And then I had the channel that made me rethink the way that I thought about diet and how I was eating. And for more than a number on the scale. So when you're looking at your body as this thing at, that's supposed to look a certain way and you're, you're separating it from who you are, of course, you're, you're never going to like... Fit, fit into your goals you're never going to be happy because you're not looking at yourself as this whole person i definitely recommend that you find some channels that help you to change your scope on the way that you look at yourself and your body next i focus on um small daily goals so i'll insert a clip here if i can one of the first few workouts that i did um was me working out with my kids doing dance workouts after I finished work, the goal was to move my body. And so that looked different every day, but the goal was to move my body every day. And so I counted us going to the park and running around as movement. I counted us going for walks after work as movement. I counted, um, you know, those dance workouts that didn't really feel extra strenuous on my knees at the time because they were very painful as movement. And so I built the habit of trying to work out consistently the next thing that i definitely recommend if you've been yo-yo dieting for a while like me if you've tried to lose weight several times like i have i definitely recommend not having a scale i do not have a scale in my house i do not know how much i weigh and then could weigh myself every monday i'm gonna weigh myself every single day Every time I gain a pound, I'm going to be discouraged. I'm not going to like it. I'm going to want to quit. So I cannot have a scale in my house. I strictly weigh myself when I go to the doctor. My mom has a scale at her house. When I go to her house, I weigh myself at her house. And honestly, I don't even know how much I weigh right now. I also do recommend in the beginning, 
you don't track your calories or your macros because you're not trying to just lose weight you're trying to establish the habit that is what worked for me when you've been been on countless workout weight loss journeys and none of them have ever worked for you build the habit first that is the most important thing the habit is going to carry you through it's going to make you have a lifestyle change do not start obsessively counting calories obsessively trying to get on a scale and trying to figure out how much you weigh and how fast you can lose this and you do all of that and then you get so discouraged that you won't continue and feel motivated not my first rodeo trying to lose weight it's not my first rodeo trying to go on a diet so if i would have tried to do that straight out the gate i would have gave up and it wouldn't have lasted so my recommendation is if this is something that you've been struggling with for a long time or something you're trying to get adjusted to form the habit first your daily goals your small goals that are capable small changes that you can build upon first take a walk every day drink half a gallon of water get a little this water bottle is from target get a water bottle from target or whatever set small realistic goals that you can stick to before you go into calorie intake tracking all of those things because once you go into that and you fail it's up in the air whether you can continue to do it you might be discouraged and not be able to do it and i know that was the case for me I would recommend that you focus on continuous movement instead of short-term perfection so this is the longest that i've been able to i've been working out since november 2021 whether that be light workouts or to now do a more, you know, strength. I'm, I'm really trying to share with you guys and be open and honest of what worked for me because I've been there. I don't feel weak. I don't love everything about myself right now. I still have goals that are aesthetic, but I know I'm doing everything I can. And I know I could build on the routine that I have. I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the um, comment section below. I'll definitely answer them. Um, if you want me to go into detail about uh, what I'm doing now, I can definitely make another video about that. This is just my tips on how you start the healthy journey. I'm not a registered dietitian. I'm not a fitness coach. I'm just telling you from one chunky girl to, you know, another, if you wanna classify yourself as that, you can do it. This is how I did it. Try it. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching.